ovarian cancer staging. We have discussed the other cancer staging in detail. Now it's the time to discuss ovarian cancer. Okay, so let us uh, discuss what is in stage one. In stage one, tumor is confined to ovary or ovaries or fallopian tubes. Okay, it is only confined or limited to the ovary or uh, a little bit it goes to the fallopian tubes as well. But that is the stage A because it doesn't go beyond these points. Okay, so we further divide it into more uh, stages that is stage 1A, A stage 1B and stage 1C as well. Okay, so what um, is in stage 1A? In stage 1A, only ovary or fallopian tube is affected by the tumor. You can see from the figure that only the tube, um, a little part of the fallopian tube and the ovary is affected. Okay, the ovary capsule is intact. And along with that, there is no tumor detected on the surface of the ovary or the fallopian tube. The tumor is wholly solely inside the ovary or the fallopian tube. Okay, malignant cells are not detected in SIDs or peridoneal washing. Okay, uh, if for some reason we have to do the surgery of these patients and we send the uh, acidic tab or peritoneal washing for cytology, we will not see or we will not detect any sort of malignant cell. So that is stage 1A. Okay, what happens in stage 1b in stage 1b both the ovaries or fallopian tubes are affected by the tumors the ovary capsule is intact okay both ovaries okay in 1a we had only one um, side ovary or tube uh, and in 1b both tubes or fallopian tubes are affected by the tumor and the ovary capsule is still intact okay and no tumor is detected on the surface of the ovaries or the fallopian tube okay and malignant cells are not detected in SIDs or peritoneal washing okay so what happens in stage 1c in stage 1c the tumor is limited to one or both ovaries or fallopian tube with any of the following okay some new changes take place in 1c okay so what are those changes surgical spell okay the tumor capsule is ruptured before surgery the tumor is detected on the ovary or the fallopian tube surface and malignant cells are detected in the or peritoneal washing so we, when we send these things for cytology we can detect the uh, malignant cells Okay, now what happens in stage 2? Tumors involve one or both ovaries or fallopian tubes with the pelvic extension below the pelvic brim or uh, primary peritoneal cancer. Okay, so the tumor goes below the pelvic brim. Okay, there is pelvic extension in stage 2. Management is by TH plus PSO plus mentactomy plus lymphadenectomy. Now, what happened in stage 2A? In stage 2A, the tumor has extended and uh, implanted into the uterus or fallopian tube or to the ovaries. Okay, so in 2A, the uterus now comes to be involved. What happens in stage 2B? In stage 2B, the tumor has extended to other organs of the pelvis. Okay, and management is by word hemistractomy. Okay, so you can see from the figure that there is infiltration of tumor into urinary bladder, infiltration of tumor into tractum. So both belong to stage 2B. Now what happened in stage 3? The tumor involves one or both ovaries or fallopian tube or primary peritoneal cancer with a confirmed cytologically or histologically spread to the peritoneal surfaces involving both pelvic and abdominal peritoneum and or metastasis to the retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Now we divide this into further classes, stage 3A, 3B and 3C. So what happens in 3A? In 3A, we have 3A1, 3A2. In 3A1, we have positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes only. Okay, cytological or histologically proven. And metastasis is up to 10 mm in greatest dimension. And metastasis is more than 10 mm in greatest dimension means both sizes exist. In 3A2, there is microscopic extra pelvic peritoneal involvement with or without positive retroperitoneal lymph nodes. In 3B, we have microscopic peritoneal metastasis beyond the pelvis 2 cm in greatest dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes. In stage 3C, microscopic peritoneal metastasis is beyond the pelvis 2 cm in greatest dimension with or without metastasis to retroperitoneal lymph nodes including extension of the tumor to the capsule of the liver and spleen without parenchymal involvement of either organ. Management is done by cytoreduction with a single agent chemotherapy. Now stage 4 distant metastasis beyond the peritoneal cavity including parenchymal liver spleen metastasis and extra abdominal metastasis 
okay further divine into 4a and 4b in 4a there is plur uh, plural effusion with positive cytology in 4b we have the parenchymal metastasis and metastasis to extra abdominal organs including inguinal lymph nodes and the lymph nodes outside that of abdominal cavity